Hey guys, welcome to day two of Spring Cleaning Week. Today we are going to clean out the closet. For some reason my closet is always the first thing to get messy. I just struggle so much to keep it clean. And I feel like spring cleaning is kind of the perfect time to really dig in, thoroughly clean the closet, make sure it looks nice and perfect and feels like you're picking out clothes from a store again. This is going to take a few hours, but it is so going to worth it, or at least it is in my opinion. I say let's just jump right into it. We're gonna clean out the wardrobe. But the first thing you're gonna want to do is take everything out. All the clothes, all the bags, all the shoes, anything that you have in there. Just take it out and make a huge pile somewhere in the room. And when the closet is all empty, you're gonna give it a good scrub down. So make sure to clean everything, clean the walls, clean the floor, clean the shelves, anything that you have in there. Just spritz it down with some all-purpose cleaner and wipe it off with a microfiber towel and you're gonna be all good to go. Okay, so now it's time to tackle that huge pile of clothing that you have. So what you're gonna want to do is make three different piles. You can also take huge baskets for this, but I like to just make piles. And you're gonna make one pile with clothes that you want to keep. Then you're gonna make a second pile with clothes that are still good, they're definitely wearable, they're not broken or anything, but you just don't wear them anymore. Either you've outgrown them or you just don't like them anymore. And that is going on your donate pile. With this pile you can either uh, you know, bring it to a charity or you can have a kind of clothes swap night with friends where you all bring in your old clothes that you don't want anymore and uh, you trade them, see if anyone else would like to have them. And then the third pile is going to be stuff that you're going to throw away, that's going to go straight in the bin. So anything that's broken, really worn out or just stuff that isn't usable anymore. So you're going to put the pile that you want to throw away in a trash bag and the pile that you want to donate in a bag as well and kind of get those out of the way because we're going to focus on the keep pile. Now if it's already time for this, um, you can already sort these clothes into what you want to store away for spring and summer and what you want to keep out. Now it is not quite warm enough yet here in the Netherlands that I can get rid of my warm sweaters. As you can see I'm still in my turtleneck. <laughs> So I'm not going to take my summer dresses out yet, but this is the point where you want to kind of sort through whatever it is that you want to have on display now and what you want to store away for the seasons to come. But when you've done all the sorting, it's time to put everything back in the closet. Any items that need hanging, try to hang them by color and type. Now if you have quite a large closet and a large amount of clothing, you can choose to hang everything by type and then sort that type by color so you can have you know a row of tank tops and then go from light to dark. My closet is pretty small, I don't have a lot of clothes, I know about everything that I have, so I just sort everything for, by color and I kind of disregard the type of clothing so I just put everything together and that makes it easier for me because usually I'll be looking for a, you know, a pink item or a black item anyway. It doesn't really matter what it is and I know all my clothes so I don't get lost in that. And I think organizing your clothes by color just gives the closet such a clean, organized and serene look. It just doesn't look as cluttered. And you may even want to consider getting all hangers all the same color. I don't personally have that. I don't have the budget for it at the moment. So I have mismatched hangers. But if you want to really do this thoroughly, get all your hangers. To be the same. I like to store my off-season items in little vacuum bags like this. All of this looks really funny, it's really happy, but it's one of those um, bags that you get where it has a little thingy right here which you put your vacuum cleaner on and it sucks all the air out, so it's really compact. This is a lot of clothing right here. So I just shove those underneath my bed and that's how I store my off-season clothes. So anything that needs to go inside a dresser, you're going to need to fold it. So fold everything into neat piles, make sure everything is folded in the same width so it all kind of makes a nice straight pile. I like to do this with t-shirts. You can place them kind of vertically so that you only see the top and you don't have you don't have stacks inside your drawers. I think that's just a better way because I can see everything and nothing gets lost or forgotten at the bottom of a stack. The way I like to organize my drawers is I make piles again and I fold all my clothing and then I organize the piles by, by type. So I have my sports gear, I have pajamas, I have um, kind of printed t-shirts, stuff that I wear around the house, I have my kind of regular tops and I have my sweaters. I see by the size of the pile which I can combine and kind of try to puzzle it all into my drawers. And for my underwear I have these little underwear dividers and I fold everything. I fold all my underwear. It might sound crazy but it makes it so much neater to look at and it just makes it easier to find whatever you're looking for. So then you're going to put back your shoes and you can do this 
Well, this all depends on how you organize and store your shoes. I just store mine on top of my dresser and in this little hanging uh, container. So I put all my flat shoes in that hanging container and all my shoes with heels go on top of my dresser. And then I move them backwards and forwards depending on the season. So it's now still definitely weather for my winter boots. So I keep those in the front and I put all my kind of summer heels towards the back so that they aren't in the way at the moment. I'm going to organize all of my purses and I like to organize these by color as well so they go from uh, light to dark and this way again I can see all of them and they just look nice and neat especially when they're light and dark right above my light and dark clothes. I, I just like the look of that. I have this plastic uh, container full of my hats, scarves and gloves so I take everything out of that and I refold everything and I make little piles um, I put my summer scarves at the bottom and then I put my winter scarves on top of that because those are the ones that I'm still using right now and then I uh, folded all my gloves together so that I don't lose one and I put my hats on top of that and I just shoved this plastic container on top of my shelf right above my clothes so that I get easy access to it but it's not in the way. And that is pretty much all for today guys. This took me several hours to do and I was so exhausted by the time it was over but um, I think it's good to do on a regular basis especially filtering out anything that you don't want anymore uh, so that you don't have more stuff than you can handle and it's also just really nice to get a good look at everything that you have be reminded of what you have and be reminded of what you need to wear so something that i also like to do while i'm at it is just pick out a few items that i really like and make outfits with them so make say around between five to ten outfits um with my clothing that i really really like and then take a picture in them so that Whenever I'm standing in front of my closet in the morning and I don't know what to wear, I can just, you know, choose one of these 10 kind of foolproof, fail-safe outfits and just wear them and go. So that's all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any tips for cleaning out your closet that I didn't share yet, please share them down in the comments below. And we can all motivate each other to get clean and organized. <laughs> so I want to thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow where we're going to clean something up.